In this video, we'll look at how you can create a recovery point in Windows 10. This can help you in the event of your computer getting into trouble as a result of a bad piece of software, driver issue or maybe an app that you installed. Having a system restore available will help you go back in time to when your computer was in a working state. So to create a recovery point go to start and just type recovery point and then you'll see at the top there you can select the create a recovery point. Now system restore isn't enabled by default so we need to go to configure then select turn on system protection. Underneath you can see how much disk space you want to allocate for backups. As space fills up, older restore points will be deleted to make room for new ones. As this is just a demo, I'll just select 10% for now, but if you have a smaller drive, you might want to turn this down more. So now you can see that the create recovery point option is now available. So let's go and create a recovery point. And I'll call this before application installed. For this demo, I'm going to create a recovery point and install an application. In the event you have an issue with installing an application, driver or other piece of software, I'll show you how to restore the system back to your recovery points. Ok so the restore point was created successfully so we'll close that window. Now we'll go ahead and install the application so I have VLC player uh, downloaded already so we'll go ahead and install that. OK, so that's finished the installation process, so let's just go into control panel just to confirm the application is installed. And we'll go into programs and features. So you can see the VLC application is now installed on our system. So let's go and revert back to the recovery point which will show the system before we install this application. So we'll go back into the control panel home. And then go into security and maintenance and then we'll select the recovery option and then go to open system restore okay so once that opens up you can go to next you can also open up the system restore window by going to start and run and typing in rstrui.exe and this will load the same window for you so there's the recovery point that we took earlier so we'll go ahead and select that and we'll select next and we'll go to finish to confirm this. Again, it will get you to confirm that you want to go ahead with this system restore as it cannot be interrupted once it starts. So once you confirm the restore, Windows will start to prepare the backup. Once prepped, Windows will restore the files, settings and registry and you'll see that the VLC application that we installed will be removed. The restore will leave any files and folders that you have in your profile like your documents, pictures and music and it's only interested in system configurations. Windows will reboot after the restore is complete so you can log back in once the login window comes up to see the changes. Ok so once we've logged back in you can see that Windows tells us that the system restore completed successfully and it also tells us that our documents have not been affected. So let's go into control panel to confirm that the VLC application has now been removed. There we go. So now we can see that the VLC application has been removed by reverting back to our recovery point. So that's how you create and restore to a recovery point in Windows 10. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.